All right, welcome back, folks. So, part number eight of the Muscler and KQL series. Let's talk about the weigher operator. As usual, head over to aka.ms slash muscleLearnKQL and make sure you go through all of Rod's content and the first seven parts before this one. So let's get started. All right, the weigher operator, probably the most used or one of the operators you'll use the most when crafting KQL queries. So you have a, a number of predicates here that you can use has contained starts with and I won't go through all these but take a look at the documentation link in the below uh, in the description you can get an idea better of what each of these does generally speaking using has as opposed to contains is probably uh, going to get you better performance but you can see there is a, a little bit of a difference there between the functionality so a number of numeric predicates greater than equal to, greater than, uh, less than, et cetera, et cetera. You will notice that the equals equals applies for both strings and uh, numbers. And then some empty predicates, is empty, not empty. It's good for uh, cutting out some of the, the uh, rows of a table. So where something, if it's empty, just get rid of it. Uh, one other note, the tilde, so that will tell KQL to not worry about case and whatever string that you're um, trying to look for. So an example here, you'll see this first query, I have the tilde here, so it works just fine. And you can see in the account type uh, column, machine is actually the first letter is capitalized. So if I run this query with the equals equals, no results here because it's looking for the case sensitive M in machine. So just something to be aware of. Let's run this query and you see it returns results. Um, but if you look at best practices, one of the best practices is if you're comparing columns, so this first where statement here, subject user ID or SID and target user SID, I'm comparing where those are equal to each other. So the general rule here is move those column comparisons to the end of your where statement. So if I'm stacking where statements, um, put that at the end, it just better performance. And if you get a huge query, you may notice it in this specific instance, it's kind of the same results so just something to be aware of there as opposed to stacking the where uh, statements you can do something like this using and so we're gonna get the same results here um, I think it's 200 and 350 results for the first for this query so let's run this one Basically, same results, 352. There may be some uh, logs that have been generated in that minute or so. So basically, same functionality using where and. And is, if you look at best practices, uh, a little better performance. So that's really it on where. Um, you can get the, you get the idea here of how to use it. Again, I'll link to the uh, documentation down in the description. Uh, and as usual, thanks for watching.